before the Apollo spacecraft came into being, prototypes and models of each piece had to pass severe tests to prove their flightworthiness. The command module or crew compartment was subjected to drop tests to assure the seaworthiness of the craft. And abort tests in which the launch escape system pulled the capsule from an exploding rocket. Parachute tests. And earth impact tests in case a land recovery should be necessary. Prototypes of the various modules were launched into space to test flight equipment. The main engine of the service module was fired to ram the command module back into the Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles an hour to test the heat shield. The engine of the service module was static fired before the launch to ensure its reliability, a normal test for the engine. Its proper operation is vital to the lunar voyage for maneuvering in space, slowing the spacecraft into lunar orbit, and powering the return flight to Earth. To test the third stage of the Apollo craft, the lunar module, a rather elaborate facility was needed to artificially create the lower pull of the moon's gravity. This is the craft in which two astronauts will soft land on the surface of the moon, and when their lunar visit is finished, it will carry them back to the orbiting command module. After years of prototype testing like this, work was begun on the actual flight models for Apollo. Each part of the spacecraft is manufactured to exact specifications under strict quality control. And through it all, testing is a continuous process. From manufacture, through system assembly, to installation, and beyond to actual flight. 2,000 measurements tell what's going on aboard the spacecraft. They are fed into this computer, which processes and displays the information for test engineers. Several of these computers monitor the performance of the Apollo craft from assembly to liftoff. When the astronauts who will fly Apollo and space agency officials are satisfied that every system of the spacecraft is in operating condition, they approve shipment to the Kennedy Space Center. The modules are delivered to the Manned Spacecraft Operations Building at Kennedy. In this building, the three segments of Apollo meet for the first time. But another series of tests is conducted before the separate parts can be joined together. Then the three pieces are temporarily joined and placed inside a large vacuum chamber. The astronauts practice their missions in something close to the airless environment of space inside the chamber. They and the spacecraft are both checked. In the background, computers follow each and every test, comparing the results against those expected. Finally, the three parts of the spacecraft are ready to be mated into a single unit. The lunar module fits into an adapter unit, which acts as a protective shield and supports the other spacecraft modules. Next, the command and service modules are positioned on the adapter. More tests of the fully assembled spacecraft follow. The testing doesn't end there. It's been more than a year since the first test was conducted on this spacecraft. And now it is ready to be mated to the launch vehicle, the Saturn V. Even then, the testing continues right up to the time when the Apollo spacecraft will be subjected to the final test, liftoff, spaceflight, and return to Earth.